Right. Righto. <clears throat> Welcome back to another one of these motherfucking things. Got big nuts in tonight. <clears throat> I'm feeling a bit fucking fluey, so I'm off the piss tonight. I'm not off the piss. I'm still having a red wine, but that's it. Not going hard tonight. No fucking vortexes with the red. He's tired, but the big fella's wingman and for me. Got him a beer. Look at this. Dog Nation dog beer. It's not alcoholic, so I'm not getting him pissed. Fucking calm down. It's just, um, yeah, it's fucking bone marrow or some shit. Look, 0% alcohol. Because he's a lightweight. He's just a little pug. He's living his best life. So I'm going to crack that motherfucker open for him. We'll get stuck into this thing. Righto. So here he goes with this. See if he likes it. No fizz or anything. He's curious, so he's ready, ready to have a crack, I think. Big boy. I'll give him half a can for now. See how he goes. He's having a bit of a sniff. Righto. So we'll rip in. So I'm themed it up tonight. Got a bit of a fucking theme going. I've got some ambient motherfuckers. They're all different from each other. You got some fucking dark shit in there. You got some fucking heavier stuff. You got stuff that leans into the black metal more so than the others. You got shit that sounds like fucking Cafe Del Mar up in this motherfucker. That's what we got going on tonight. Four bangers, 10 inch to begin with. Then we're ripping into the fucking 12. That's what's up. I might chuck this up just a little bit because that's not fucking very loud. This is a dissonant motherfucker we got on in the background, but it's fucking good. All right. First one up is one everyone knows out through Kunsthal production, Switzerland band, motherfuckers Winther, he's in fucking dark space, he's in this fucking cocksucker. This is an EP from 2020, and I fucking appreciate it. Probably better off getting the um, the full length that came out the same year, but who gives a shit if you're a collector slut, get on this fucking thing too. So it's Paysage de Ver, de Iver, de Hever. Whatever the fuck you want to say, you say it your way. I'm good with it. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, this is in Trom. In Trom. Two songs, 25 minutes. Complete fucking ambience. If there are any vocals throughout, they're fucking hidden right down, deep down in the motherfucking mix. This is, um... It's just a fucking... It's pretty much an ice blast to the fucking dick, face and mouth all at the same time for 25 minutes. But you sit with it, you sit with the music, as you do with all these albums. All these albums, you fucking sit down and you listen to them. You don't just chuck it on, chuck one song on and get into it and start bopping away. That's not what it's for, that's not what it's about. It's about creating an ambience for you to fucking sit in there, grab one of these cunts and smash it in your head. The more you sit with them, the more rewarding they are, especially this one, because if you're to sit with this for the first time, you just think it's a fucking wall of white noise. But it couldn't come across any better, to be honest, because the sound that does come across, it does project a fucking absolute blizzard. As I said, a storm blast, fucking wind, fucking swept bizzo, and it sounds just like he's recording straight in the middle of the motherfucker. And the more you sit with it, the more the drums come out, the fucking distortion comes out. The fucking, the beautiful, the lush keys that pop through. You just sprinkle everything, it's fucking shimmering. It's fucking gorgeous. And I'd have to say, I think Winther would have to be one of the main men. I think he just fucking, he creates some of the coldest music possible. This will freeze your tits. Put the fucking heater on before you listen to the gun. You'll fucking freeze to death halfway through the thing. So that's what I'd advise while listening to it. So as I said, comes out on Kunthor, Kunthor Production, which is his um, own label. So he's put this one out. Just come out like, looks like a bit of fucking vinyl plank. Something to just lay the floor with, you know, you can fucking lay your whole house out just for this shit. Probably a bit of a cheaper option too these days with the uh, cost of living and everything. But yeah, can hardly see the fucking titles of the drugs. Got that shit in the middle. I think it's just fucking like, Thicket. I think it's meant to be woods or some bullshit like that. Very, very bare bones. On your blacks, right there. Two sides. 
pure, fucking unadulterated ambience. And it's fucking gorgeous. The more you listen to it, the more you hear it, the more you'll fucking love it. As I did say though, you, you are probably better off going out just jumping on the, uh, the full length, grab that, more to listen to. But if you're into collecting your shit, well worth it. And still readily available, fucking jump on, Google it up and you'll fucking find it up within fucking three minutes, less. Do that, fucking chuck this banger on and we'll get into the next camp. What do you reckon out of this? Tastes alright? He gives that a pretty shit out of 10. He didn't fucking touch it. So I might have to have a sip out of the bowl at the end because fucking can't waste good beer. Righto. Do know our next one. <clears throat> this one leans even more so into the black metal. German one man project. Um, leans in your ambient still. Blurs the line between black metal and your dungeon synth as well, especially with the keys throughout. Um, this one come out, was it 2021? Might have came out, full length, by Morgeist. That's Hulkarax. And this is another absolutely fucking glorious spin. Two vinyls worth, so you fucking in for like an hour's worth of music. It's fucking stunning. As you can see with the witch hat, leans into that, leans into a cultism, in cult, uh, the fucking, leans into a cultism, magic, and also Tolkienisms. So fucking, I think yeah, so he gets into fucking, you know, your, your fucking hobbits, I don't know, probably your orcs and shit. Never have fucking, I never watched all the fucking Lord of the Rings, to be honest, which is pretty fucked, eh? I watched the first one, I really liked it. Never went back and watched the second and third. They put it just, you know, I wonder if they, you know, they should have fucking gone maybe with some orcs, you know. They put female orcs in for it, you know, the inclusive, inclusivity, you know, inclusivity, is that the fucking word? Is that what I'm fucking looking for here? Gotta get the female orcs in, get that equality shit going on. Big old tit, big old tit orc, fucking, you know, the business. Something for us lads to look at. Fucking, what? yeah, back to this. Come out through Dominance of Darkness Records. And this is an absolute belter. Another one, you don't fucking just sit down and go, ooh, I'll put this fucking song on. You sit through the cunt, whole thing. So put an hour aside for this one. Um, it goes under the moniker of uh, more, more Geist through this, but he's also known as Where Goat. Also notable for Zarnabog, which is fucking damn shame. But he's, um, yeah, they've since, since, he's since disbanded that fucking project. So I'm fucking, I'm, I'm hopefully, hopefully he doesn't do the same thing with this. Because this is, this is gorgeous. The keys that ride throughout, the dissonance, everything kind of sits probably about three k's down the road, but you can hear it. So like you're fucking, you're trying to make it out, or it's even like fucking sitting, you know, you might be sitting in a pub having a beer, having a fucking feed. And they're fucking, you know, it's like they're, they're setting up for fucking band practice or, you know, sound check next door. You hear the drums and shit going through the walls. That's kind of like what the fucking, the dissonance of this album sounds like to me. But yeah, once again, sit with the album. You hear everything come through. And it's, yeah, it actually becomes quite vibrant. Everything, you, you can still hear all the instruments, keys, drums, vocals. And it is quite, it is, oh, it is really synth heavy. Really slow and meandering pace. It doesn't really up the tempo too much. Probably, if it does anywhere, it probably gets up to probably a mid tempo. When it gets up and fucking bang it. But yeah, absolute quality project. Still readily available too, if anyone's after it. I'm pretty sure you'd probably be able to pick it up through Dominance of Darkness as well. Pretty sure I've seen it at, I think Drakkar Productions had copies of this up. So yeah, still can't find it. Since he has put out, a, I think he's put out an EP and a split since. I do, I think I have all his works at the moment. He's got about five 
album's worth the shit out. <coughs> but he's a fucking, yeah, he's a madman. Good shit, always killer covers too. I don't know where I get one of those witch hats, sit here with me fucking witch hat out on. Just fucking talk about fucking orcs and shit, orc ladies with big tits. But yeah, good shit, good project. Chuck it up here, here we fucking go. Cheers. fucking side into the uh the second vins had the 10 inch away we go this is another little fucking a bit of an oddity that's one that i've only really um come across probably in the last probably three four months so i don't fucking i'm not fucking overly involved but i fucking i really do like what's on this motherfucker if that makes any sense at all if not fucking tune out who gives a shit But yeah, this is a German um, German band. Leans heavily into the fucking um, ambience. It leans heavily into fucking. It classified as a fucking psy um, psychedelic rock band. But I don't really hear it until probably I think it's like the the first um, sorry the second side first song, which is I think Lucifer Christos. That's when it starts to get up and pumping. But besides that, it's almost like a fucking. That, Remember I was saying fucking Cafe Del Mar? Well, this is it. Atlantean Blood. And what is the fucking thing called? It's called fucking Dreams of the Black Sun. Got the Black Sun fucking thing in there. As much as it's got the sun wheel and that, they do state, that, and they've got the fucking, they've even got the eagle that, above, you know, and the fucking, even the writing, it kind of gives it away that it could be a bit of a sketch banger. But they've, the band has, or the fucking project has stated that they, they're not, involved with any any of the politics whatsoever but I don't fucking know you do hear it throughout the lyrics too like fucking yeah you got like fucking Northern Heritage Dreams of the Black Sun The Secret of the Viral Woman see everything to me kind of says it, it could be a bit of a fucking sketchy number but they state they ain't I don't fucking know but I know the music's fucking fantastic and for me, it really does sound like a fucking, like, almost like world music, fucking Cafe Del Mar, like you're sitting in there fucking having your fucking almond milk latte. I'm here to fucking tell you something too. Almond milk ain't milk, all right? Almonds don't have tits and they don't fucking lactate, all right? So what you're having in your fucking latte is almond juice. Get that straight. But this is what you fucking, you could be listening to potentially. It's almost like that Cafe Del Mar... Smashed in with like fucking like a Wardruna type sound. It's um, yeah, it's 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 a real fucking it's an oddity. It really is. It seems to be quite divisive as well. You see people say it's fucking it's gay as shit. I'm not fucking I'm not stating that. It's just what I fucking read. Then I've heard people say it's an absolute fucking masterpiece. So I I probably tend to lean towards it's fucking it's really fucking good and I really enjoy it. When I'm not listening to black metal, this is fucking, it's a, it really is a banger to uh, chuck on. It is chilled as fuck. Besides probably, the, um, yeah, Lucifer Christos and fucking, I think it might even be All Father Woten. Those two songs, they do start, they, they do fucking uh, lean into your rock. More your fucking, your normal drums. A lot of the other um, drums throughout fucking seem to be fairly electronic. The vocals are kind of like whispered. But it almost gives off, leaning into the black metal, it almost gives like a, a black metal rasp, even though it's, it's a whisper. I don't know, it's really weird, quite odd. And from what I take away, I think why they say they don't really lean into politics, I think what they try and, what I believe they seem to centre on more so, is just their heritage and how proud they are of their heritage. I think that's what it might be. I could be totally fucking wrong. Don't fucking shoot me. I don't know. But I think that's what it's, it's more about pride and all that kind of shit. And like ancient, like fucking Germanic history and all that kind of shit. And yeah, really leaning back into those, those fucking times. But for me, I fucking really like the project. It doesn't have to be fucking pure fucking satanic black metal in your asshole all the fucking time. 
I have to tell you that. Put out through Teutonic Fury Record. Yeah. Sorry, the fucking the storage is just fucked up, so I'm fucking having to go from this this little bit again. Put out three fucking Teutonic Fury records that this motherfucker was. I'm pretty sure they handled the cassettes for this thing. Um, and Darker Than Black, Darker Than Black, put out the uh, the vinyl release. So this is put out. Show you the inners. Got the map there. Fucking I don't know the world. Got the as look like fucking Aztec figures. I don't even know what the fuck's going on there. Got even bullshit on the back. Don't lose the Christos song though, it, it is a cracker. I mean, it does get into your Rocky fucking, Rocky fucking styling more so, I suppose. On a blue. Sunwheel again. See, he's got the fucking sunwheels all over the joint. And I do believe they just, they've got another release that just came out, I think probably a year or so ago. I haven't actually given that a listen. I've just been banging this one, but yeah, probably within the last, four, yeah, three, four months, this fucking one has been getting a bang. Uh, same girl is on the cover for the, the latest release as well, and I do believe Teutonic Fury has fucking handled the cassette for that thing. But yeah, as I said, fairly divisive. Some people like it, some people fucking don't. They think it's fucking shit. Fucking be your own judge. I like it, get on it. It's fucking good shit. I didn't also put up Halcarax, that's what we're fucking listening to in the background, so fucking. Keep your little fucking earballs to the fucking to the speaker. Fucking have a listen, because it's good shit. Sorry if I'm sniffing heaps too. It's not the cocaine once again. I've got a fucking cold. I'm not happy. I'm sucking up. Righto. Jam that. vinyls to show that they're coming but yeah the head's fucking feeling about fucking 45 kilo i know i've got a fat head but hey it's feeling fatter tonight full of some bullshit pugs keeping me company though didn't want his beer fuck can i do fuck it we'll chew into the red zone it's like chewing on glass but who gives a shit but so the next band is <coughs> Still centers around probably around ambience. It's a fucking, it's a miserable, filthy, dingy, bleak. Just fucking yeah. It's not a happy. They're not a happy band. That's the music that I put across. Bleakness personified. Played in a real minimalist um, approach. Everything's slow as fuck. Thick as shit. And yeah, almost kind of like. Almost suffocating. It is carved cross, caustic allure of manifest hallucination. Put out through Azra, which is fucking fantastic because abundance of copies, you will manage to pick up a copy now. A lot of their shit back in the day was a lot harder to come by, especially when you get them, like go to Warrex and shit like that. No, no fucking throwing mud at like those those are uh, labels, but they, they put out only a limited number and it's sometimes it's really hard because motherfuckers are up there, cheese fingers, do, 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 do. fucking I've got every fucking go to Warrex fucking release there ever was. Who gives a shit, motherfucker? Are you listening to the music though? Probably fucking not, you just got them sitting in there. Always jumping off topic. Carve Cross though, they are a phenomenal band from fucking Tasmania. Even south of fucking this motherfucker. I'm south, these guns are south south. And then, yeah, as far as this album goes, it really does sound like you're fucking being, just being dropped in the middle of nowhere, being fucking kidnapped by a fucking the cartel or something, just dropped down in the middle of fucking nowhere, not knowing where you are, hands tied behind your back, trying to fucking figure your way out of wherever the fuck you are in the middle of nowhere, and then running into an abandoned steel mill, band saw in the background, steel on steel shit. And this band is just playing through that. Fuck, I feel like I'm even fucking yelling at the moment. I think my ears are blocked. Probably am. I'm sorry, but that's what's happening. But yeah, it's like... It's like a real fucking... has an industrial sound, but not... Not the fucking what you know as industrial music. Just a real fucking... 
just that grating fucking steel. I don't know. It really does sound like a like a bandsaw or a fucking yeah, steel on steel vibe all the way through the music. As these guys just fucking play, they it's just fucking really dreary, hopeless black metal. It is a fucking follow one to anyone that uh, fucking follows black metal follows Calf Cross. I know, but it is like a it's a spirit. I suppose it's a spiritual successor to Forbidden Citadel of Spirits. Just as dreary, just as bleak. But yeah, this is just a follow on for it. A continuation of that band. And it is probably not for everyone. But for me, like some people probably find it anxiety inducing. But they they will give you some type of feeling. For me, I fucking not. Because I'm a bit of a weird kind of sit here and relax to it. Have a red wine and chill. I can fucking chill out to the music. Some people get upset by it. Some people fucking just enjoy it. But you, one thing you will be doing, as I said, you will be listening to the whole thing, the whole entire run. Flip that motherfucker over and go again. That's just what it. That's what it's designed to do. Don't look at it as the four tracks. Or same goes with all their releases, really. And yeah, MN and SN, the two main players behind this. You can hear their influences throughout this. It doesn't just center in black metal, like fucking if anything, like it's probably the vocal that really pushes the black metal influence more so than anything. But I know like the, the lads, like, some of them into like fucking vaporwave, they're into fucking noise, power electronics. You hear that all throughout this shit. Even the vaporwave, I personally, I do hear it just with the fucking, I just think, I don't know, the, the offset of the drums, the way the fucking drums are played, the way everything's just so slow, and everything, not, not, something just doesn't feel right. Something always feels off when you're listening to the music, and that's what I get with Vaporwave. I know it's fucking, it's a, it's a chilled fucking, you know, kick back, chill out, have a fucking couple of shots and just fucking listen to that shit. But I, yeah, I fucking, yeah. Something always feels off when I listen to it. I like that. It feels dark. But yeah. This is Kick-Ass. This one came out on, I think it's a white Vins. Bang, bang. Thick bit of wax, got a fucking big hair on it. Big pube. Yeah, fantastic. I'd urge anyone to go out and fucking, if you haven't listened to Carve Cross, do it. But be patient with bands like this. You don't, you don't just jump in and go, fucking this is the best shit, because it's not designed that way. And that's not the way, yeah. They didn't want you to take it. Also, I'd urge you to go out and jump on their other band, Nightfall's Haunting and Fixation. Both fucking quality projects in themselves. Blackline, they've fucking got a, yeah, millions of fucking projects. They're just a few that I really like, especially Nightfall's Haunting. Get on it. Don't fuck around. Don't be lazy. Fucking get in there. Have a crack. Still available too. Get on it. Overuse, Azra, done, boom, bang. Shit, yeah. fucking banger for this evening this cunt was put out through the final agony and signal rex i've got it playing in the background i flipped it over in between still sitting on the reds my fucking eyes are itchy i've got a fucking sore head i'm fucking i'm sucking up hard i've fucking had enough of this fucking cold i don't like colds but if you cunts are out there fucking thinking it's covid and you're putting fucking face mask on fucking get it get the fuck kick in the ass get outside with that shit covid's finished all right fuck that Right, we're ripping in. This is a fucking absolute... I don't know, this is another one I've only just recently um, come across. It's an Australian project. And this is fucking a nightmarish as all fuck. Extremely haunting. If you've ever watched fucking say... Let's say it's more... This is... It's, it's just pure ambience, this one. Pure fucking ambience. And yeah, like... Subtle noise throughout. It's... Um, yeah, it's a fucking wild project. It is Lipitoire. Lipitoire. Yeah, it's just 25 minutes of just pure ambience, but it's like really haunting, nightmarish. Yeah, nightmare for you. Once it kicks in, it's like has just that little bit of an intro here. 
Then it kicks in with like, he does use his vocal, but not lyrically. It's more as fucking, he's definitely using it with effects put to it and you know, a pedal or some shit. And it's almost, if you've watched say fucking Silent Hill the movie, which is a fucking underrated fucking movie by the way. The Silent Hill movie I really enjoyed. But when that siren starts to go and fucking the world starts to turn to rust, everything starts to turn to shit, fucking people's heads start falling off, fucking, yeah, all that type of shit. That's what this, that happens throughout this motherfucker. And the vocal, yeah, the, the, the technique that he uses throughout, whatever the fucking effects he uses on it, is, yeah, it's really fucking haunting. And this is grouse to just kick back with. Once again, glass of red, lights off, ambience, get the fucking candles on. Got Nosferatu on the cover. Get the fucking candles on. Take your shirt off, swing it around your fucking head, and then just fucking zone in. Zone into this shit. Put the fucking, even the headphones. That's what it's meant for. Pure, unadulterated fucking ambience all the way through the cunt. Cheapest chips to pick up this one too. My, my copy is about 25 bucks. But I do have, if you give, give us one sec, I have this fucking, these fuckers too. I haven't listened to these yet. Find them. Back in a sec. Just kidding, couldn't find it. I got a, um, a couple of tapes too that they put out. But either way, this is, yeah, this, yeah, as I said, pure ambience, pure noise. And yeah, probably not for everyone. But every one of these releases, as I say, it does, it all relates, it does correlate with black metal in some way, shape, or form. Even that Atlantean blood, much you fucking hate to admit it, it just does. They all tie in, even though they're off on fucking different fucking walks of life and fucking different paths, they're doing this, they're doing that. They do. But this, yeah, it's a scary little banger and well worth your time. If you're fucking just ready to kick back, chill out fucking and put on a bit of fucking, I don't know, just a bit of filth, here we go. I'm sure that's like a vocal technique that he's using there for that, or whatever. Pedals, all that type. This would be grouse, I'd fucking like to hear this shit live. This is some filthy, dirty fucking castle. Yeah, some rundown old shithole. Some dilapidated building would even be better. Fucking smackies out the front, all that type of shit. On the cheap piss. But yeah, absolute banger. So I'll leave you with that. I'll chuck up a little bit of a snipper of it. See what you fucking think that'll do for that we'll come back with a bit of an outro and that's about it Lord, I, so that'll pretty much do it for this one <laughs> pug is fucking so tired i don't know whether he's pissed or tired it didn't even touch the beard, so he can't be pissed. I think he's just, is that enough? There you go, look. Say g'day. Say hello, bug. Hello. He's knackered. Half a can of fucking bone marrow, he's fucking lightweight, soft as. I'm nearly out too, I've got this one. That was the tape that I was looking for though. Yeah, Lipitar Pro Profane Death. That's another one of his fucking releases. But it's really, it's really grim. It's really, yeah, it's quite, yeah. Really is quite haunting to listen to. I don't really find music that fucking scary or anything like that, but this one, it does, does get it done. So got that. Thanks heaps for everyone that fucking that jumps in and fucking, you know, does their thing. Fucking comments, all that type of shit. We're fucking, we're jumping up there, having a look, seeing what's going on. Cheers for the fucking the vinyl community. You cunts are always legends. I like that shit. I've got t-shirts coming in. I fucking finally paid the bill for that. So the t-shirt should be through soon. See this fat fuck in the background? That's going to be the next video. 
a little unboxing. I'm leaving it like, see, oh, fuck, I open the cunts every time because I'm a fucking child. I like that shit. But I'm, I'll jump into them in the next vid, I think. And yeah, leave your comments in the fucking, the bottom. Let me fucking answer some of your shit. See what you want to fucking, tell me, tell me what's going on with your life. Let me know what the fuck's going on. Let's finish this off. Let's take some Banadol because my fucking head's about to explode. Cheers. Thank you for coming. See you in the next one.